hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video also so guys as you can see on your screen in this video we are going to learn about how to enable basic authentication for website access if you have deployed any website and somebody wants to access that then there, there should be a authentication authentication is nothing but it is a verification of identity of a user okay so for example i have a user on my domain and he wants to access a website so he should uh, provide his username and password then only he will get the access of that particular website so that is the concept of enabling basic authentication okay so very simple it is very easy to uh, you know enable so let me show you here so guys i'm using one server in my all videos and i have created two website one is nryn and second one is site to if, uh, if you have subscribed my channel or if you are watching my uh, videos so you can understand easily from past videos so now in this video uh, we are going to work on authentication so very simple so first of all i will show you something go to manage okay uh, and here you need to you know install uh, basic authentication services first of all so if you go to here i have already installed it seems so i'm just showing you so that you can also install it no basic authentication is not installed here so if you go to iis manager and this authentication option okay if you go here you will not see this option authentication is not there as of now only anonymous authentication is there what is the meaning of this anonymous authentication if it is enabled anybody can access that website for example if i have a website and that, that website i can access here easily if i give ip address of that website 192.168.0.10 or either i can access by name okay so this is how it is easy but when i enable that authentic on uh, authentication it should ask for password you should not get access like this that is the concept so first of all you should install this service okay uh, this basic authentication once it is installed you will be able to see and uh, second one is url authentication i will show you in my co coming up video so i'm um, just installing right away it okay so again i will not uh, have to install it once again so just give install here and second thing i will show you here what i wanted to show so okay until it, this installation is not done you won't be able to see that uh, option here so before that for example i mean until the time it is going installed i will what i will do i will create one user here okay so i am going and i'm creating one user here yes, right click new user i'm giving my name only i give my name and next here i'm giving one password oh, oh, something is wrong and give next finish okay so let's see what is the status of this installation so it got installed and let me refresh this so now we'll see website authentication still you are not seeing it okay so let me just close this and once again i will open and let's see whether it is coming or not here for this website authentication so as you can see here now this authentication is reflecting and this windows authentication also so you can just disable this anonymous authentication and enable this authentication on my first website so it is enabled now now you can go to website and just try to browse it and uh, still it is opening close it close it close it and just restart this once so let me see one more time it is it, it is enabled or not okay it is enabled and uh, this website open it let's see still it is opening it is not asking for password it should ask for password One ninety-two dot one sixty-eight 
10 give this and let's see so now it is asking for password okay that is what we wanted to test and uh, give here username and password so now you are able to access the website this, uh, this is how we wanted to understand about this basic authentication if i talk about site 2 i will be able to access access it let's see what is coming it is accessible and once again i will try from here so it is opening If I try to open here, what will happen? 192.168 10. Only first site will ask for this password. Okay, second site will not ask because we are we have enabled this on first site only. Okay, second site is mapped to this IP address only 10. Uh, but we have not enabled authentication. If you go to go to authentication only, anonymous authentication is enabled. So this is uh, like uh, you should take care. So guys, very simple. I hope this video is informative for you. You understood how we can enable basic authentication here. And uh, once again, if you remove this, you will be able to access that website without any password. So you can just uh, disable it and enable this one. So by default, this will be enabled okay and just refresh or go to this website cancel this and refresh it now so it is opening without any password so guys for more videos you can subscribe my channel and next video we will be understanding about some more things like uh, url authorization and limits and all so if you subscribe then definitely you will be getting all the uh, updated videos and coming up videos till then bye bye thanks for watching for this video